All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content. One for the money, two for the base, three for each and every one of my gym stars. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Chef, coming to you live with another video. I might not be fresh from the barbershop, I'm not even going to lie to y'all, man, but I, I, I got to get my joints retwisted, man. I feel like what Shannon Sharp said, Derrick Rose left, and he had a fade. And he came back with bread, with, with, with dreads. And y'all want to try to tell me what's going on? It ain't happening, Captain. But anyway, man, look, man, I ain't a lot of y'all, man. We got a whole new setup, whole new everything. Uh, we, we ready to get these 2K2 a day is popping, man. I don't know if my camera's jittering and, and doing some crazy stuff, man. I probably need to reboot my computer. But I didn't want to do it. I'm just, I'm just going, we just going to wing this one right here, man. It's something that, you know how you start, if, you, if you're a content creator, you'd be like, hey, I just ain't got time because I got to get this news out. And this news is piping hot. Piping hot. First off, I know y'all noticed the shirt. Everybody's shirts have been sent out. You should you should have gotten your last notification. Um, And my guy KC, I sent yours out too. Bro, I wanted to, um, I wanted to wait until I got these masks so I can send you a mask too, man. You know what I'm talking about? We got the mask popping. So we're going to get the custom mask uh, in the store here but uh, uh casey you're gonna have the first first one and uh your your extra shirt is going out too and uh you know like i said if you if you you should be everybody should be getting that stuff today speaking of which man shoot or shoot man the shoot or shoot shirt is in the store right now i'm actually gonna drop that price to like 10 bucks or 9.99 man but look it's the shoot or shoot the same shirt like what jj reddick had on man boom boom you put it on anything you want because that's what happens man shooters shoot my boy shooters shoot so we're gonna i'm gonna change the prices of these right here but uh you know knock them down some Dang, i'm not gonna let them be that high uh so by the time y'all see this these should have gone down um they should have gone down some man but anyway man that's not what we're here to talk about today what we're here to talk about today is we have a lot of news coming in from 2k and it's piping hot i said it's piping hot nba 2k 21 news man is here it's out there everybody knows about it by now and if you at work or something like that this is why you're here with me man check it out nba uh we got um we got my guy from from uh the 2k insider r r r r r r r r you know with a with a couple of r's man you know what i'm talking about uh he got this he got this news for us man and uh we're just gonna share it with you right here man it just says um Actually, we're going to begin with the article, man. NBA 2K21, PS5, and Xbox Series X versions will cost $69, hinting at a next-gen price jump. Now, let me tell you something, man. This is something that I expected to happen, but I don't want to see happen. And the reason I'm saying I expected it, but I didn't want to see it, is because they have been, for quite some time, trying to get us used to this next gen price jump man and i just don't I, I don't see i really don't see what this next gen price jump is gonna really do for us like like if we see the difference in the games and stuff like that that's gonna be one thing but i just don't think we're gonna see the difference in the games it ain't but so much so much realism we can get it ain't but so much next gen that you can go and with last next with last gen's next gen being an epic failure in in terms of the first offerings that they put out talking about how 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 the graphic fidelity of the games and things of that nature uh how the games ran you know the frames per second and stuff like bro they were struggling the whole 720 60. you know what i'm talking about 1080 60 they couldn't even do it and now so with some of these next gen games they're touting they're touting uh 4k 144 it's impossible at 500 dollars. i mean it's just not gonna be it's not gonna be possible so what they're gonna try to do is i feel like they're gonna try to make a, like look bro i got a 500 graphics card and a 2100 computer i can't do i can't do 144 6 i mean 144 uh 4k i can't do it even with a 4k monitor that's gonna cost a thousand dollars you're not gonna be able to do it so even if they do it, it's not going to be like full 4K. It's going to be some type of synthesized, upscale version of it like that. But the graphics aren't going to look like what 4K graphics should look like. So, like, that, that, they might can do it, but, you know, it'll be just like the same way they did 108060 with this gen. Uh, when they did 108060 with this gen, it was just like, it was really like what? Um, 
I'll, I'll take it back. You can do, you can do, you can do 144. Um, you can do 144, uh, 4K, but it's not gonna be native. So there we go. It'll be like a stretch version or upscale version, like I said. It ain't gonna be native anyway. But uh, if, they, if they're promising that it's gonna be like 1440p or something like that, and then you can do 144 or, or 60 hertz or something like that, hey, I'm all for it. That then, uh, I guess it does really say, you know, we should be able to pay $70 for a game, but at the same time, computer games go up that high and we don't pay more for computer games. So I, I don't know what it is, man. But hey, you know, they take, they say they take a loss on the console so they can pass the savings on to us. It is what it is. That's just my little rant about that. I'm sorry that I wasted five minutes of your time because all you really came for is this. Well, we know that there's gonna be a $10 increase in the price. There's no way to justify it. I think games are already up there, but it is what it is. But what they want you to know uh, from NBA 2K Insider, we're gonna be citing two sources today. Um, pretty much is this right here, man. Uh, if you buy, these are the, these are the, this is what we got. You got the standard edition and the Mama Forever edition. Standard edition, Mama Forever edition. It's gonna be 59. This is gonna be 99. This will be 69. This will be 99. Now, uh, there's another graphic out there that just puts it really plainly. And, uh, we're gonna go over this graphic real quick, man. And it just says, if you buy the regular edition, that's all you get. If you buy the Mama Forever Edition on either console, then you're going to get the uh, the normal edition for free on the other gen. So if I buy the Mama Forever Edition for the Xbox One X, I mean Xbox Series X right now, I will get the standard copy on my regular Xbox Day One. So I can go ahead and order the Mama the Mama Forever, Forever Edition right now on the Xbox Series X, and I'll get the copy to be able to play day one for my normal Xbox. But, uh, uh, Jay, I'm not buying VC twice. I'm not gonna do all that. I'm just not gonna, and that's fine. Because we also have another chart for you right here in the game, you know, that's gonna, uh, it's gonna break down a lot of this stuff for us, man. And uh, this graphic right here pretty much tells you, the Mama Forever Edition is 99 bucks, man. You can't get around it. There's no way around it. There's no way to get past it. It is what it is. Regular edition, Dame Dad. I mean, Dame Dame Dollar, uh, Mama Forever. <laughs> Who else but the Mama? Hey, every time I see this graphic, I want to cry, man, because it's like Kobe. That's the last time. That's not only the last time we saw Kobe, but this became synonymous with the last time that we would ever even hear about Kobe, because like this is the this is the one that they were doing the Mama out when he passed, and uh, you know, it's, it 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 almost brings a tear to my eye every time. So it's like the double entendre, or, or something like that. But anyway. Next gen, Zion is the cover athlete, and uh, you know you get the Mamba edition. Now, look, this is one thing that people are gonna be saying: Well, what, am I gonna have to buy VC or whatever? This is something that is huge. I wish it had gone another way, but it didn't go another way. It said this right here: shared VC wallet. To me, that's a that's that's crazy that a shared VC wallet is gonna be there. It just says that earned and purchased VC is shared between console generations. I wish it was consoles, period, but console generations. So Xbox One to Xbox Series X, PlayStation 4 to PlayStation 5. I wish that it just they would just take advantage of the entire ecosystem and let us share the VC across all of the systems and all of that. But you can't do that. There was also a quote from one of the devs that somebody had taken a screenshot of or what have you. They said that my player files are two different files, so those won't be shared between console generations. So even though you'll have the VC, you're not going to have your uh, your my player. So you won't have to grind more VC, but you will have to grind a different my player. So this is how it's gonna go pretty much, man. Um, you're gonna buy, this is what I would do. I'm, if you know 100% for certain that you are going to get the Mama Forever Edition, I mean, that you're going to get the, the, the PlayStation 5 or the Xbox Series X, I will go ahead and buy the Mama Forever Edition and then use my code to get the, the free copy on the lesser one. I don't like that we have to pay 99 bucks because because uh, Microsoft had already told us that we were going to be getting 
you know, if you bought one game on that, then it was just gonna you're just gonna get it for free. I don't like them locking this behind the paywall, but I suppose that it is at the uh, I, I suppose that it is at the discretion of the uh, of the developer, you know, to do it however they want to. So I'm not a developer. I, I got I gotta just go with, with with what they say. But here we are. I will buy the Mama Forever. I'm going to buy the Mama Forever edition for the Xbox Series X. When I do that, I will be getting my free copy. They'll probably send you a code or something and you'll get that one for your regular Xbox, for my Xbox One. Now, for the Mama Forever Edition, this is what you're gonna get. You're gonna get 100,000 VC, 10,000 my team points, 10 my team tokens, 40 my, you know, you get all this stuff right here and you get a couple of Sapphires, you get your skill boost and all that. I don't think your skill boost is gonna carry over, but day one, what will carry over is you're gonna have that 100 uh, that 100,000 VC, and you can start your my player off with that 100,000 VC. You're gonna have to add another 25 bucks, 50 bucks to get it to 200,000 to get your guy maxed out, and then we'll begin putting out content for you guys. Once that happens, I'll keep grinding my VC up and grinding my VC up and grinding my VC up. So when the Xbox Series X comes out, I'll have enough VC to make myself a new player day one, but I'm gonna have to grind that player. If they could, if they would have just allowed me a one-time port of my normal player to the Xbox Series X, I think that that would have been, uh, that would have been beautiful. They would have nailed it. It would have been like, nailed it, LJ, come here real quick. You know what I'm talking about? They would have nailed it, man. It would have been like, it would have been beautiful. I, I wouldn't have been able to really say anything uh, because cross-progression is one of those things that's awesome. Now, they will have cross-progression for my team. And you know they're gonna have cross-progression for my team for two reasons. Number one, my team is 100% their content. So it's not a character that you created, it's nothing to port, it's just a number in the system. Uh, athlete number one corresponds with athlete number one on here. So card one, like they're, they're making the cards and they're putting the cards in the system right, and so there's no tweaks, there's no anything. Whatever they put in over here, it just goes in here with the exact same statistics and they put them in. So there's nothing for them to buffer, there's nothing for them to, 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 to really to really do. They just, it's a one-to-one -one thing. So they, they, but they create the cards so they can put them on both systems and say this corresponds with this. So you will have cross, um, the same thing with the VC, they put the VC in the system. They put the My Team tokens in the system. They put all that stuff in the system themselves. So it's easier for them to make a correspond to one thing rather than porting your My Player. I'm not saying that they're not gonna do it. It might be something they're gonna reveal in their park trail or something like that. But as of right now, uh, we, as, as far as I know, there are no plans to do it. At any rate, um, so cross progression, why are they doing it for this and not that? Look, man, I know a lot of people say park is their most played mode is the one that, that promotes the game the most. It's their biggest money maker. Nothing could be further from the truth. My team is easily their biggest, their biggest, biggest money maker. We're going to spend what? 200 bucks on park or my team. I mean, or, or my player or whatever, 200 bucks at most, most of us. Hey, look. You got people dropping $200 a week that don't even do YouTube or anything. They dropping 200 a week on the new stuff just to have the new. So my my team is their baby. It's by far their most played mode. Um, it's just not the most advertised mode, but it's their most profitable mode. And they're gonna take care of that first. That lets you know how they feel about us in the park. I'm not even gonna lie to you. That just lets you know that hey, we, we are second banana. It is what it is. We don't spend enough money. Like you might be like people spend enough spend money on boost. You know what are you talking about? Like we spend VC on boost. Yeah, we spend VC, but I don't I don't reinvest VC into this game. People actually are dropping two hundred bucks out of their wallet every week on my team to not do YouTube. It makes no sense to me, but hey, it is what it is. That's why they're gonna take care of that one first. If they if they say they make an extra billion dollars off this game, seventy five percent of that is off my team. The park, I'm, I'm pretty sure they get precious little from it. Because if I need VC, I'm going to go to the stage and slap people. Um, if I need VC, I can go to my career and grind VC. Even though I don't want to do it. Just like I'm not going to want to grind two players. You can grind VC, man. And uh, and you can do the same thing and grind VC. And then, you know, you can you can go into my, um, into my team and do it. But a lot of people are not that patient. They're going to just do it and just buy it. Like I said, you got people dropping $10,000 per game on my team easily and they don't even do youtube or nothing and you might be like that's crazy but bro i'm telling you they do it. it's a lot of people out there that do that they just like that my team so they're gonna have that cross progression uh, number one because it's easier number two that's it's literally their most profitable mode maybe we'll get some cross progression 
as far as um, my player goes. But like I said, at, at this point, we just don't have that. But there you go, man. There you have it, man. Like, it is what it is. The game is going to be um, 99 bucks. Just be ready to spend that 99 bucks. I'm probably going to spend a buck 50, maybe 200 day one because you know I'm going to have to buy. I'm going to buy the Mamba Edition and then uh, I'm uh, digital, obviously. I'm going to buy the Mamba Edition. And then once I buy the Mamba Edition, you know I, you know I got to buy the VC to get the content out there. I'm probably going to make a couple of characters for you guys and, and, and put that content out there for you guys uh so you don't have to do that and then last but not least uh you know with 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 uh nba 2k uh my guy uh what it is inside of intel or whatever uh let me see if i can move this over here so y'all can see it completely I'm, I'm working on this new setup man just bear with me anyway it says important information about the nba 2 i mean about uh ps4 and xbox and whatever whatever although the generation is, is version is being created from scratch 2k has developed two initiatives cross progression in my team and then the shared vc wallet like i said the shared vc wallet is huge because i can go and beat up on people like uh let's say the people there's gonna be a lot of people on on xbox series x they're not gonna be that good <laughs> i'm gonna be able to go go over here and just beat up on people in the stage or whatever on xbox series x and then come back over here on xbox and then you know use my vc or whatever or then i'll just use or I can come to Xbox where the trash ha trash bags are going to be, run my VC up, and then I can use that on the other on the other console. It's going to be cool, man, uh, if I care to keep both of those consoles hooked up. I know that I'm going to have a lot of fans that are not going to have both joints day one, and so they're going to want to play with me. They're going to want to play against me. So I will probably be doing a lot of traveling back and forth between the Xbox Series X and the normal Xbox and the PlayStation and the, Play and the PlayStation 5. I'll probably be doing a lot of traveling between all of it, but at the end of the day, um, I mean, this is a win because at least I don't have to get new VC for each one. So I can just buy the VC, run my VC up while we're waiting, and then when the new system comes out, I already have enough VC with the linked accounts and I'll be good to go. But uh, y'all let me know what y'all think, man. How, do y'all think it's a W for 2K or is it an L? Cross progression is cool in certain modes. I wish they had cross progression with my career. That would be awesome. Maybe they will. Maybe they'll figure it out. Maybe they'll do something like that. But like I said, it would just be a lot harder because this is not information that they're putting into the system or the players would have to be like so restricted that, you know, it's, it's going to be crazy. But anyway, let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. I'm going to holler at y'all next time. Shooter shoot shirts are in the shop. I've already changed the price. You should be able to see a price difference right now. And I'm going to holler at y'all next time. Until next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. God speak. Alright, man. Y'all take it easy, man.